TikTok, time to rock. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to everyone who's watching from all over the planet. Some of you are already in 2021. Uh, Jones, yeah. you're actually a couple hours behind. Right, let me... Yes, it's early for me. Yeah, hang on. I got the. Uh, I can actually pull up. I can actually pull up the timer here. Hey, Carm. Okay. Hey, Carm. I see you there. You. Uh, we're. We're about to start up the uh, apologetics empire. I'm gonna need some mods for the website. I remember we talked about that before. Uh, I'm gonna need a couple mods for the website. Basically, just communicating with people um, because there's gonna be people from all over the world, different countries, translating videos, and there's no way I'm gonna be able to handle all that myself and get anything done. So, hey, yo, John. Yo. Is it just me, or did you hit 100,000 subscribers like five seconds ago, and then you're already at 108,000? What, what's going on there, man? Man, it's just you, bro. <laughs> no, man, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good uh, end of the year. I, I was thinking, too, man, it was only – remember when we did our live stream when I hit, like, was that 50K? That was only, like, six months ago. So like this year was really fast, you know what I mean? Because I was thinking before that I started this year at like what twenty k or something. I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it's been a it's been a fast year, so it's been good. And then eight thousand in like five seconds, man. Yes, sir. That's yep. pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. Man. Hey, let's yep. check out. Let's check the uh, countdown timer here. I got a countdown pulled up. Cool, See cool. if this works. Oh, there we go. Fifty four minutes and forty nine seconds. What do you like? Cool. What do you like? Two hours behind that. Yeah, man, it's 9.05 right here, so, yeah. But I'm in the best state in the world, so. <laughs> <laughs> Better than your dumb state, that's for sure. All right, well, anyway, guys, we're just going to, uh, we're going to just hang out for a little while for anyone who's, well, <laughs> I was going to say anyone who's not watching the, the ball drop. I don't even know what they got going on this year. Cause I don't either. Yeah, uh, I know Times Square is pretty empty right now because i looked it up um i would assume they would do it just for tv yeah like have it have it and just have it virtual but uh we actually uh we went down there i forget which year 2015 2016 we're like man we've lived in new york all these years so we've never gone down to Times square for new years so we went down there and uh man we went we <laughs> we went down like to where we were getting there like half an hour ahead of time and we were we must have been like 20 blocks away uh but you could still you could still see the ball drop because it's a long it's a long straight straight street i forget which street it was on uh it's either it's either seventh avenue or, or broadway in in new york but um yep you ever yeah, that's yeah. crazy man you've been yep. out there forever and yeah you were out there forever man i never even gotta make it out there so it sucks but yeah it's all good. Yeah. yeah uh we went to uh went to the statue of liberty once um yeah there was a bunch of stuff we should have done while we were still there yeah yeah man i try to get to the statue of liberty i didn't know you had to, <laughs> i didn't know you had to take a boat to get there <laughs> <laughs> you're like i ain't getting on a boat <laughs> want to know what happened you want to know what happened the last time we got on a boat <laughs> <laughs> don't trust nobody Oh man, yeah, that's crazy. Cause uh, yeah, I, I GPSed it and thought I could just drive up to it or something. When I was in, I was down for a book thing, for a book convention. Yeah, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So what's up with vocab? He's coming in late. Yeah, he's gonna come on in a in a couple minutes here. He's got his kids with him right now. Okay. Okay, dope, dope. So what do you want to talk about? You want to take some questions? You want to? Yeah, we'll take some questions yeah. from the chat and chat a little bit. Well, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. What a uh, uh, oh yeah. yeah, people are asking yeah. So they're asking the same thing. Where's Brother Vocab? Vocab's going to be on here in a in a few. Um, Claire, I see everyone saying this. The sound is out of sync, guys. There is absolutely no way for me to fix that now unless I just turn everything off and start over. So we're just goofing off. Maybe it'll fix. Yeah. But you look you look like you're in sync. I look like I'm not in sync. I'm look because I'm looking at my camera right now. Uh, we both are in sync on my side, so I don't I, know. I'm in sync on your side. Yep. So your yeah. your your crap Skype connection is probably throwing me off. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably it. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, yeah. Why don't we talk about what's what's coming up for this next year? Yeah. So. Uh, you got any yeah. plans for this coming year? Um, I think me and you got some plans. That we're hoping we'll come through. But we can, we can talk about that. We want to talk about that now. You want to talk about it later, or what are you thinking? Uh, we or can you talk, talk about our channels. We could talk about it now. Yeah, well, yeah. What, what, what do you? What do you? What's everything that's coming up in two in two thousand twenty one? Twenty one. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, so for my channel personally, I'm working on. Um, I've been putting together a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I've been trying to expand and stuff like this too. And so, um, yeah, looking to hire some help. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, God willing, for this year, some help so I can get more done, get more videos out faster, video editor. That sort of thing too. So, um, looking to this year is the year I want to be putting out more content, and you know, make more quality content too. You know, so that's what I'm looking forward to this year on that level. Um, yeah, what about you? What do you got coming up? Uh, about a million projects, man. About a million projects. Yeah. Yeah. Always. About a million things. So we're gonna we're about to start up the Apologetics Empire again. It was a little weird. I'll explain this in the video, but it was a little weird. Uh, we were planning on going, starting every, getting everything going a couple months ago, a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, but then all this stuff was happening with uh... COVID. No, no oh. one cares. No one cares about COVID. <laughs> this is online. Um, it was. Uh, oh, you're talking about you're talking was, about was, the things was, you were doing. Right? It was like eating the Quran and stuff, man. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was certain guys online or going after everyone's wives and stuff like that. And, and, uh, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, you gotta make them stop. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make them stop. They stopped. <laughs> they stopped. They made them stop. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of weird starting up the apologetics empire. Hey, we're going to put together this awesome apologetic series and all these, you know, people from around the world while I'm sitting here munching on the Quran. Make no mistake. Make no mistake about it. I'll munch on the Quran. I'll, I'll chew on the Quran. If someone if someone's saying, "Hey, I'm going after, I'm going after all your wives," I'm gonna make you stop. I'm gonna make you stop that. Um, but yeah, so it was. Well, uh, hmm? We had we had the apologetics conference or our conference that we set up. Remember that was going on until COVID hit, and we had to throw that behind. Yeah, because I had a bunch of stuff I, I was ready to do too. I was doing some more filming and stuff to, on that documentary and stuff, and then COVID hit and like threw everything off. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was another thing too. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at least you had a good, what, four or five months. That was pretty fun, right? The Quran stuff. What? With those guys? Yeah, what? you had to drill. Like this year was crazy for you. <laughs> yeah. No, that was fun, man. So, so, oh my goodness. You've yeah. never seen, you've never seen a year like this for, for anything, man. Yeah. No yeah. one, no one has ever, everyone else. You thought that COVID was bad this year? My goodness, you didn't see anything unless you were a Muslim apologist. <laughs> and then everything just melted down. The the entire world melted down. Um Wow, you got you get by the way, you you know, you focus on different things. How much of that did you actually follow? Oh, I watched all of it. Yeah. Oh, you saw all that stuff going on? Yeah, yeah you that saw was like that meltdown? The only other channel I was watching. <laughs> so, I, yeah, every time I still watched it all. Yeah, the whole meltdown. I saw all of it. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so things kind of kicked off with Yasser Qadi and his, you know, the holes in the narrative interview. And that's where the meltdown just began because everything started going nuts. And it, it's weird because I was talking to Mike Lacona the other day on his channel. And, hey, you froze. Oh, you're good. Uh, I was talking to Mike Lacona on his channel the other day. And I was telling him, you know, ya Sheikh Yasser Qadi and his, you know, how he's viewed in the Muslim community. And then he, you know, comes out with his holes in the narrative interview. But then he starts like filing false copyright complaints to get people yeah. to take it down and um, doxing people. He tried to dox Islam critiqued and so on, um, which is a threat. Right. I mean, if I yeah. if I dox someone, I'm just being a jerk. Right. If if yeah. if a Muslim Sheikh doxes someone, that's a threat. Right. Yeah, That's yeah. hey, we you're going after Islam and um, I'm giving people your personal information. So I told Mike Lacona that 
you know, Sheikh Yasser Qadi doing this would be like William Lane Craig doing it, right? Yeah. I mean, this would be like William Lane Craig just losing his mind. He starts freaking out and doxing people, right? But right. he's not the only one. You had Minj, he gets arrested for child pornography. Yeah. You had Hijab, you got the golden showers stuff, and then he starts oh, with all these veiled threats of rape and torture directed yeah. towards towards people's wives and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um uh, Ijaz Ahmed, he started doxing people and hurling racial slurs at people. Yeah. Really, really nasty stuff. You've got Ali Dawa praying for Allah to give us diseases. Yeah. And then uh, he, he just he just starts posting th threats against ex-Muslims saying, you know, when Islam takes over, we're going to kill you all. You know, and yeah. we're proud of that. Yeah. That's going to be the penalty and stuff. But just like one after another, like yeah. all of their prominent guys, they just start losing it. I've never yeah. seen... I've never seen that. That would be like, you know, again, because you got a mixture of YouTubers and Dawa guys and scholars and so on. But that would be like, you know, William Lane Craig and me and you, yeah. and just every, you know, everyone yeah. at, at the same time <laughs> freaks out and loses their minds. Oh, man. That's so funny, too, because like, yeah, yeah. Some of those guys are so weak. I mean, gosh, like how desperate do you have to be to start pulling all this stuff, the stuff they were trying to do? I would be so insecure, I feel like, about what I believed if I had a meltdown like that consistently. And all of them were doing it at the same time. It's so funny. Yep. Yeah, that was yeah, that was entertaining. So that was good. Yep, that is some wild. Well, wait a minute. Uh, oh, the apostate prophet here. Yeah, AP's there. I, th I think I just saw him. I said, "Hey, AP, you want to join us?" No, I can't. I'm too busy. <laughs> well, uh, I got all the time in the world to comment. Um, <sighs> LR said, "How would how would one go about joining the apologetics empire?" Well, the stuff we're doing now, uh, LR. Is is mainly translations. This is the first project. We're gonna have we're gonna have multiple we're gonna have multiple projects. But the first the first project is uh, we're gonna put out a series of fifty videos going through um, basic Christian apologetics directed towards Islam, and people from countries around the world are going to translate it into their own languages. I don't mean add subtitles. They're going to translate. I'm gonna I'm gonna post a video with a script with the script of the video. They're going to translate the script and then re-record it in their own language. And then we're going to do one of those a week. I'm sure we'll get thrown off at some point by something. But uh, eventually, even if we, even if we, you know, get interrupted at some point by, you know, people attacking people's wives or something like that, then, uh, you know, at the, at the end of 50 of these, then there will be a complete apologetics course towards Islam in tons of languages around the world. Once we get that, once we get all the videos, we'll we'll put together a workbook and that'll be translated as well. And so the goal is to have a complete course on apologetics directed towards Islam in tons of different languages. So that's what we're working on this year. So if you want to get involved in that, um, yeah, we're going to have, I'll be posting the stuff because we got to get the, we, we got to um, basically get the, the mods lined up for the website and get them, get everyone understanding how to run the website because I don't even know the website was built, but then we we didn't uh, we haven't we haven't actually used it yet. So the website is up. It's apologeticsempire.com, but uh, we got to get that up and running. And then once I mean the, the website's already up and running, but we got to get it uh, to where we're ready for people to come on there and and get active. As soon as that happens, we're going to start releasing videos for that and so on. Um, but yeah, we have the apostate prophet here. Happy New Year! This is the year. Where Yasser Qadi will leave Islam and David Wood will become a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be a wild. I mean, that would have been if that would have happened. That would have happened in 2020. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that happened 2021. <laughs> yeah, um, man. Well, I, you want to say he's wrong, but he's a prophet, man. It's right there in his name. <laughs> that is true. So, John, what do we what do we got coming up? Yeah. So. We, me and Wood met, we had the same kind of vision. We, we wanted to, I suppose early on when we were talking, we wanted to actually help other people develop really good thinking mm -hmm. and YouTube channels, um, know how to run YouTube too. Um, so we want to do something like a lot of ministries have had their thing where they'd have the people in person, you know, and then they would get new talent, you know, new good people that would do stuff and they would grow like that. But we wanted to do that online on YouTube. So we've been working um, on putting together some stuff and um, just on trying to do put together some courses and stuff for people to take and then help to train people so that way they can be more effective on YouTube and continue to get the gospel out, you know, destroy Islam, destroy atheism, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, buddy. So, yeah, we're in the 
I mean, we've been talking about it for a while, but we're getting closer to um, getting the, you know, getting really getting going on it. So, yeah, we're we're ta- we're taking things to another level. Yeah. This year. Yep. Right. Yeah. For those of you who are awesome tech people, we will be hiring. Yeah. We are going to start hiring. Yeah. Tech- we're trying to yeah build a team. Yeah, good team. So. How much? How much of your stuff could someone else do, John? Uh, in terms of like editing and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm saying I'm thinking I'm thinking like like I make a video. Yeah. And I'm thinking like between forty and sixty percent of that, someone else could do, depending on yeah. the video. Uh, preparing yeah. the material, I generally want to do it myself. I obviously yeah. have to be in the recording. Uh, lots of the editing. I mean, I'd want to take a look at 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 everything before things are made final and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Thumbnail, someone else could do that. Most of the editing, except for me just checking everything, someone someone could do that. Uh, yeah. You know, just setting up and and setting up the camera and all that stuff. Someone else could do that. But yeah. the, the 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 idea, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, for me, forty to sixty percent. I think someone else could do. What what about you? Yeah, no, it's about the same. Yeah, I, I feel the same as you. Yeah, so I think people can do. I mean, I realize like there's a lot of even like a lot of maintenance stuff, like with the emails and stuff like that. So I recently got a guy helping with emails and um, inboxes and stuff, and he's trying to get caught up um, here on all my inboxes because I got like so many messages on all the different platforms and emails and stuff. It's just hard to get through that. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, yep. Yeah. So, so the idea, ladies and gentlemen, is that let's say roughly half of what we do, someone else could do. Well, if we start hiring people here and there when we can to do some of this other stuff, then, well, if I just focus on the 50% of, of that, that only I can do, then I can kind of do twice as much. You know what I mean? Cause yep, you know, yep. if I do, if instead of doing all the stuff for a video now, I only do the half that only I can do. Well, yeah. I can just make another video. I can just make another exactly. video. So we start cranking out yeah. way more content. So that's, that's the idea coming up here. Uh, Carm yep, said, sure. Carm said, wait, what? Child porn? Who? That's Menj, oh. Carm. Menj. Uh, M-E-N-J. And I know, I, I only found out after saying Menj in a video that that means something else in the UK. That's like a slang, a slang term um, over over in the UK. But that, what do you want me to do? I mean, he's in Malaysia and that's that's the name he goes by. Stan, well, that's that stands for something. But anyway. Back before we were on YouTube, we wrote for a site called Answering Islam. And one of the main apologists that everyone was responding to was Mensch. He had his own like apologetics team and his own apologetics channel. So there were tons. You can go to Answering Islam right now, uh, look up responses, and there will be dozens of responses to to Mensch and his team. And so th- you may have seen this earlier this year, John, when uh, he declared war on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that video was funny, man. I went to his video and I just couldn't stop laughing. So I was like, ha 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 ha. I was just dying. It was hilarious. Anyways. Yeah. So uh, Menj said he was declaring war on me, and it was funny because and 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 for for those who didn't know him, like I got the meaning. It was hey, you know, for years I, I was doing apologetics, written apologetics. And then, you know, I started, you know, just focusing on work and stuff. But now I'm going to focus on video coming out after this guy, David Wood. And so that was all exciting. But, yeah, uh, turns yeah. out he got busted, Carm. Um, and I, I, it looks like someone someone just basically saw him, saw the apartment, because he was blurred out in the video of police raiding someone's house for child pornography. He's blurred out. But someone started noticing the background and the figurines and stuff like that and the books on his shelf that this is this is Menj's house from from his videos and stuff so anyway didn't, didn't go didn't go well for for old Menj but it may have been worse if he didn't get arrested and he declared war on you and continued to to go down that path that would have probably been worse so at least now he can you know retire by hiding somewhere else instead of having to have his entire career destroyed well i guess it destroyed either way right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he could say, what? If it's good enough for our, our holy prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's good enough for me, right? Who are you to judge? Yeah. You know, I'm laughing because it's New Year's, but this is some sick stuff, man. 
That some is sick, sick stuff going on in the world, man. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, my goodness. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, man. Uh, but this year is gonna be, this is gonna be a good year. I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot this year. Yeah. Uh, if uh, if uh, if YouTube doesn't ban us. Yeah. Well, no. I think you're 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 obviously much safer than than I am. Um, so I think you're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, but I've been getting demonetized a lot lately. So I've been getting demonetized on a lot of videos. Yeah. So, so who knows? But vocab, his whole channel got demonetized, huh? Didn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. yeah him, really Rob sucks. Christian got got demonetized. Um, yeah. That sucks. Yeah, Come that on. that that would sting. But we could we still keep going. But man, that would sting. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, but yeah. But hey, this is vocab. Let me see here. Okay. What's up? Hey, why did it get rid of John? Uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. You kicked off John. All right, huh? kicked off John. When I when I clicked on you, it kicked off John. Mm. Well, if you have the link, if you just give the link out, you can just click on the link. Click on what link? Skype gives you a link to a conversation. Hey, John, do you know what we're talking about? I don't know if, well, yes. oh no, he probably, he's probably not even listening to the live stream. He's probably listening through this. There's a way where you, you have a, a. I can add him. Him, I can. Add. Go ahead and add him and see what happens. What's his name again? Uh, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna try to do it. Well, the thing is, John has like three Skype accounts. Oh well, it'll let me know if it's the right one. Oh, sure. I, there, I see John right there. Don't touch anything. Ah, uh, there we go. You see? Yes, sir. All Low right. cab in the house. Sookie, sookie, sookie. Slow cab. <laughs> man, vocab, it's been way too long, bro. I know, right, man? Let me get in your vibe, though. Hold up. Yeah, man. I'm in Colorado, though, so, you know. <laughs> You're um, in Phoenix, you know, I mean. <laughs> Still works, though. Hold up. We had a cool We had a cool shout-out to uh, a AP here from Chuck Chuck, who said, AP, you kept me away from Islam. I hope you're well, bro. Been following your vids lately. So, cool. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, I just tuned in. I, I literally just tuned in to hear you guys discussing child pornography. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was. That and was John good. wonders why his videos are getting demonetized. <laughs> yeah. All he does is talk about child porn. Good lord. <laughs> oh man! Now you. This video is demonetized. Hope you know that. They're gonna be all on that. Man, yeah, they've been cracking down on my monetization hard lately. So it sucks. It's just like, it seems like every other video I'm not getting monetized on, which really sucks, you know. But, but yeah, vocab, man, I feel for you, bro. Dang. Yep. Oh, and not to, I don't think it's going to go through, but today I had a Hebrizolite try to uh, flag five of my videos for privacy violations. <laughs> Those These insecure guys, man, it's crazy to me. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you know what's you know what's funny because there are uh, there are some some keyboard jihadis as I call them who who do stuff like that right like yeah. you know filing like even Yasser Kadi now files false copyright complaints and stuff like that right and you're not going to win right he's he's obviously not going yeah. to win he knows we're allowed to use his content he knows yeah. that yeah. um so he knows he's going to lose but in his mind it's Oh, but I can annoy this guy. And it never seems to cross his mind, dude, when you annoy me, I just come at you more, right? Yeah, I just exactly. I just come after you more. And so uh, yeah. I think probably the, you know, some of the Hebrew Israelites that vocab is dealing with, ah, I'm going to, you know, do this to a bunch of his videos where he quoted me and I'm going to file a, you know, privacy violation or something. He's not going to win any of them. But yeah. my goodness, you know, you're just going to annoy us and then you're going to make us come after you even more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do well to that kind of stuff, man. Yeah, I, I have the same adverse reaction. So yeah, I'm with you. Um, so slow cab, what's been going on? 
Oh, me and John already right. talked a little bit about what, what what we're working on this year. What do you what do you got going on? Well, um, I am working on two book projects. That's kind of my big. You gonna That's, you want to share yeah. some info about those, or is that all hush hush secret? No, secret? no, it's it's no, it's not. It's not hush hush like that. Uh, the things change as I sort of go on. They um, uh, develop a life of their own. I've noticed. Uh, it's like beyond my control. You know, I have one title and then it changes. So the first book came out of the fact I was writing a book on Hebrew Israelites. In the beginning, I want to discuss urban apologetics in the context and uh, things about apologetics, right? But I realized it was turning into this whole massive thing in front of discussing Hebrew Israelism. And so I said, this really needs to be its own book. And then I wanted to discuss some doctrine so i was going to originally call it doctrine for the block but then i it, the way it ended up being is basically this discussion soteriology so uh. the book is going to be about basically the gospel in an urban apologetics context so i'm as of now calling it the gospel for the block and uh i uh it sounds I think an awful it's, lot like doctrine for the block well these are all my titles so it's all right but it's <laughs> That is, that's what it's from, because what I realized you're is... You're plagiarizing book, yourself, dude. Come on. Yeah, basically, that's true. I mean, when your ideas are so good, what do you do? I realized that the book wasn't just all doctrine. It was really discussing soteriology. And so uh, that's what I ended up doing, you know, just going with that. And uh, anyways, so that's that's the one thing. Just to say what? Okay, hold on just a second. I got to get the pizza out of them for the kids in a second here. <laughs> oh, man. But, but down the place. You don't want to burn that yeah, pizza, that's, man. That, that's the You're going to ruin New Year's, son. <laughs> no, I put it on the low setting, so I had a few minutes uh, grace window. Uh, I'm a Calvinist, but you know, we believe in the doctrines of grace. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah. there's Leo giving a shout-out to everybody. Leo, what's up, man? You look big. Hi. No, I can't see. No, he's got he's to yeah. go. Tell him to get in yeah. front of the camera because he's cropped. Oh, Leo, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Hi. Hey, what's look. up, man? You look Hi. big now. Hey, Marco. Hey, <laughs> hey Marco. <laughs> All right, I'll be out and come get it. Say what's up, Marco. Hello. Hello. No, you got to say it right in the mic. There. Who am I? Hi. What's up, man? I heard, I heard, you're, you, uh, older. I heard you guys are getting some crazy freestyling skills. Who am I? Yeah, I'm not going to do that for a while. You know, like, I might do it in the car every once in a while, but, you know. Yeah, man. I hear you. Yeah, Mike's freestyle game is pretty dope. Pretty dope. All right, let me. I'll tell. I'll come back and tell you about my uh, other book if you guys are interested. But let me go get this pizza out of the oven for the kids. Yeah, go get cool. the pizza. Oh. Hey, just leave that camera on so you don't screw everything up when you come back. You know what I mean, all right. What With all this stuff like you hanging up on people. All right. Rocab's got a. Is that a mullet I just saw? Did you see that? <laughs> Leo, Leo, what's up, man? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. We I got... can hear myself. Do you re do you remember when you were in Islamicize me? Yeah. Do you remember when uh? <laughs> I had to push you off the bike. No, that? that no, I pushed him off as uh, I took a skateboard. That's oh, who did push off the bike? You, no, you don't even you don't even know, you don't even know the different kids, man. <laughs> no, was that was that Malachi? Or was that? I thought that was Leo. Yeah, no? that was Malaga. You you took oh. us right, and then you just drove off. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I hijacked it. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. So you guys look bigger since the last time I saw you, man. Both of you guys. Yeah. That's cool. You guys getting older. Getting older. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying. Wait. No, don't unplug it. Don't unplug it. Um, okay. You guys can move a bunch of the, the levels. Does he have a little mixing board there? <laughs> just, just keep pushing buttons till something happens. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's, uh, let me check the time real quick here. Oh, yeah. John. Uh, what's up? Um, one, one time you said what your, next time you come over here, you, you would try to bring your kid. Yeah. Yep, I will next time. As soon as we start traveling again, I'll bring him. It'll be fun. Yeah. We'll all hang out. He'd love to hang out with you guys. Be fun. COVID tickets are cheap. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll come soon, though. Mm. Yeah. It'd be cool to see you guys and we'll hang out. Oh, fun. we actually might be coming out there pretty soon. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Vocab. Yeah, so we're uh, 
Yeah, guys, we're going to be recording a new series called Trust and Safety. It's about the trust and safety team of YouTube. And so uh, we're going to be doing a show kind of like The Office or Parks and Rec, something like that. Uh, but Vocab said he knows a guy who has two, who owns two floors of an office building. So that's that was my main concern was where we're going to record this thing. Uh, the other concern is COVID, uh, when things are going to start clearing up so that we don't have to worry about, you know, uh, because people are coming from different states and stuff like that, worrying about uh, any problems traveling or getting back or something like that. Um, but as soon as uh, some people have gotten vaccines and stuff and things start dying down, then we're going to get together and record the first six or eight or ten videos yeah, for trust and safety. Really but yeah, so we'll be out there in Phoenix. I can do this. I got like a new Walkman and uh, for like two, I got two mixtapes and I'm using some of my dad's. Uh -huh. I got like a Christian hip hop and like a striper one. Wow, sweet. Did you I say, can do a did, sound. You, did you say a walk? Yeah, a walk did you say you got a Walkman? Got a walker? Yeah. I had a Walkman in the eighties. Do they still have those? Cause then they came out with iPads and stuff like that. I mean, iPods. And then everyone yeah, just uses yeah, their phone. Uh, I can show you. I can do a Darth Vader. Let's see your let's see your Walkman. I want to see this. I don't believe it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that too. I thought they <laughs> stopped making those that. unless unless you got too. some vintage stuff. <laughs> yeah. My turn. You your um... <laughs> See you, Leo. Bye. Yours is by the microwave. Okay, buddy. Okay. Yeah. You got to sit at the. Oh, you, so the kids basically took over. Man, yeah, I am tired. You guys tired? Whoa, he really has a Walkman. Where? Let yeah, me uh, actually, put, put it, put it, uh, put it, put it a little yeah. more, put a little more in front of the camera. This? Open it up. Yeah, it takes a cassette. Oh, that's yeah, old yeah. school. What is yeah. that? Is that vintage, or they just still make those for some for weird people? They, they still make them. Huh. That's what he wanted. He's been listening to tapes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a, really a cool. few a few years ago, a few years ago, I found out that my uh, my mom still had my Game Boy from when I was a kid, oh, and yeah. so I gave it to uh, <laughs> I gave it to my kids. But yeah, my kids started going with uh, you know an, an '80s Game Boy, uh, going oh, to man. school with '80s Game Boy playing Tetris and stuff like that. So <laughs> That's awesome. that was pretty cool. I remember my first Game Boy. I remember that. Never forget. Hey, hey. Oh, it looks like uh, Benjamin Handelman keeps saying that I associate with left-leaning Christians. Um, to be specific, he's talking about Carlton. Carlton. Carlton, <laughs> Carlton is like, uh, my goodness, man. That's like, Carlton is, is, his nickname's Carl, as in Karl Marx, because that dude is so far <laughs> left. Yeah, he makes Jesse Smollett look like Donald Trump. <laughs> Who's Carlton? That's my homeboy. You oh, never... you never met Carlton. I met Carlton like yeah, nine okay. times, man. Yeah, I know. Vocab, you don't come around no more, bro. It's been way too long. Well, I had COVID. I know. How how you feeling after that? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. You so, guys want to come over? <laughs> so did you actually test positive for COVID, or you just assume you had COVID based on symptoms? No, no. To uh, not going to work anymore, I had to get a positive test. Because I was going into work for like a week straight with 100 degree temperatures. And I was telling my boss my temps, and they didn't even seem to care. They were like, so, oh, okay, well, just uh, do you want to work over today? I was like, no. So you're <laughs> you're infecting like millions of people and stuff like that? I was keeping them very well informed, though, every day. Well, and that, they yeah. just had no. But then once I tested positive, they're like, well, you can't come back until you test negative. Well, I was like, well, that's above CDC guidelines. So I, I'm still testing uh positive but i haven't had symptoms in two weeks uh, but oh. but i have had fatigue but I, I got through the worst of it but i was having 99 to 102 degree temperatures for two weeks straight it was like the worst flu i ever had yeah you were whining like crazy uh in text messages and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Dude. he called I, me crying actually he was literally crying i think i've seen you guys one text message about it and david changed the conversation to one of his videos <laughs> Of what actually happened sociopath man <laughs> but uh no i mean so uh but people from you know the street apologist squad community whatever you want to call them were super cool they were sending me books to read they um they sent me uh some vitamins you know someone sent me honey like it just they were really cool 
And it made it easy because I'm not going to go get stuff. So they were just like, hey, I sent you something. You better take it. I was like, okay, you send it. I'll do it. So I was just like doing a whole home care routine. And uh, it was it was a it was a blessing. So, um, I, but I man, I had to sleep a lot, bro. There's like days where you just sleep all day. You can't do nothing. It's crazy. You yeah. Like, you know, can't even it's like cool, yeah. you like oh you could catch up on shows. No, I can't. I, these t- 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 fevers. I cannot watch nothing. I don't want no sound. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm but uh, I'm I'm on my right now. I'm just waiting on a negative test to go back to work because it's messing with my insurance. So, uh, you're not exciting stuff, but. I did get hit, and it's kind of funny. It was right after I made the announcement. I was going to go on sort of YouTube uh, relaxed schedule so to work on the book. And so right after that, the timing was perfect because I had already announced I was going to be out, and then all of a sudden I get COVID, so it didn't look like it just looked like I was going to go work on the book. But instead, yeah. I, was, I was laying in bed. But working on two books. Oh, so the wow. first one, Gospel for the Block, and second one, which I'm not even going to be able to start till probably the very end of this year. So we're talking a year or so away before that one. Uh, probably called Understanding and Refuting Hebrewism. A lot more cool. in-depth, and I've already got a couple chapters written, but I'm just uh, one thing at a time. So that's what's up. That's and we good. were going to do um, Doctor for the Block, the conference, virtually this year, but we're just going to pass an idea and either push it back later this year or maybe just skip it this year and go to next year. I don't know. COVID messes up all the plans, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, man. So me. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. I mean, gosh, it's been a bummer, man. Like, everything's shut down again, and it's going to keep going out now. I mean, gosh, man, I'm so ready for this thing to be over so we can get back to, like, because I haven't seen you guys for a while. This is probably, it seems like we see each other all the time. This is, like, the longest we've probably gone without seeing each other. Mm -hmm. I saw Wood a few months ago, but I haven't seen you for even longer than that. But still, man, it's weird. You know, I'm ready to get back to it. So, Agreed. I'm not fully in camera. If I go off camera, you guys tell me I didn't realize I was like, half my face up in there but yeah yeah i agree i'm already out of sync so we're not going to care too much out this, of sync? Is, this is a countdown yeah m- my voice is out of sync it's in sync with skype but not but out of sync with uh the live stream you guys are in sync i'm out of sync i love in sync i bet you do that's your that's exactly your kind of music man you hey. hey hey check check this out check this out al medina said <laughs> You had kids and Islamicize me. You are <laughs> you are brainwashing little children against Islam. Shame on you, David Wood, Act Seventeen Apologetics. Uh, hey, Al Medina. I, I like how I like how they blame you though. That's good. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al Medina. You want to talk about brainwashing little kids? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Do you, you know do you really do you really want to go that route, oh, Al Medina? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about? Uh, a fifty-some-year-old man brainwashing a little prepubescent girl into thinking that it's God's will for him to climb on top of her and bone her. You, re- you really want it? You really want to talk about that? Because I got, you know, I go. You got nineteen minutes until New Year's. I'm, I'd be happy to talk about that, dude. Which is worse, <laughs> brainwashing the kid or having the kid semen wash? Ugh. Yeah, well, so, and, and that's the other thing. So vocab, you, you know, I mean, this guy's talking about brainwashing. But Aisha, little 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 girl Aisha, her main job in Muhammad's household, of, apart from satisfying him, was scrubbing the semen off his clothes. And then when he was about to leave from mosque, I would find more. <laughs> see, see, these guys are these guys are <laughs> these guys are learning the sources, like to, to quote them verbatim. You've heard them so much. <laughs> nah, but uh, oh man, yeah, yeah. Um, he ma- he makes R. Kelly look like uh, I don't know Saint R. Kelly. <laughs> Saint Kelly. It's true. The 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 kids were in Islamicizing, but I got to tell you, never once have I sucked on their tongue or had them suck on my tongue or any other grown man. Yeah, you know? what's up yeah. with Muhammad sucking on little boys' tongues, man? You complain yeah. about some kids being in some videos? <laughs> They're child actors, man. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, look, someone says vocab, no drinking glass this, this new year. Because remember what happened last year? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I bloodied up I my hand. Yeah. Do you remember that, John? Yeah, because you guys were live. And then he was, weren't, and you were Muhammad, right? Is, or is that something else? No, you're I talking, holding? no, he, he decided to make a drink last year. Oh, and, I remember. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 he shoved this giant ice right ball in his glass and yeah. it wouldn't fit. So he decided right. to <laughs> ram it in there. He decided to ram it in there like Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then, I knew an Aisha joke was coming. I couldn't help it, man. This dude started started coming. This, this dude came on here and he's talking all this trash, and I'm like eight beers deep here. So, <laughs> this guy, this guy. Yeah, no, I, I had a Death Star uh, molded yeah. uh, ice cube, but it was it was extra large, and I thought I would be able to kind of just, but nope. And I I actually was bleeding in real life on camera spreading my covid everywhere just kidding i didn't have it at the time but uh what was cool is then my squad you know what they did you know how nice they are my squad came to doctor for the block that year and they brought me an ice cube molded thing of miniature death star balls so i didn't have to use that big one anymore and so now i have tiny ones Man, yeah, so you, you got a good good crew, man, behind you. That's dope. Shout out to Nate. He 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 mentioned that. Actually, um, I don't think I really have wine glasses, but I do have like these old glass kind of Stein looking things. I can uh, grab the kids, bring them in here, and I do have some Martinelli's sparkling cider. And when uh, the ball drops in 15 minutes, they can be up in here with me. Just getting Martinelli's all over the studio, if you guys yeah, want. We, we assumed they were still doing the ball dropping and stuff. Are, are they doing that? Is, is that verified? Well, I'm assuming they're doing it, it from TV. Yes. So the ball dropping is there, but it's mainly like media personality uh, that's, I guess, going to be there. And uh, they say that if you try to gather on a crowd, they're going to... This is this. I listened to this on Reuters News today, right? It literally said, they will tell you, move along. Move along. And I was like, what? Like, you know, Star Wars. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Move along. Move along. It's so funny. It's like the New York, the NYPD is going to tell you, move along. It's like, they're like saying they're stormtroopers. It was the weirdest thing. They literally, anyways. I, 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 would, I, would, I would be like, I'm here, I'm here to protest against police. Yeah. That's it. I would be like, I'm here <laughs> well, to protest against hurt? police. Are you police going to kick me out? Huh? <laughs> I would totally like, do that. Here you go, sir. Here's a baseball bat. <laughs> Make yourself at home. <laughs> um nate that mug you're talking about is for coffee and stuff like that not for sparkling cider yo uh <laughs> yo vocab what's up would you rather play i've got uh i've got most of the parts for trust and safety picked out okay the uh the the team is going to be made up of a psychopath We'll figure out who's playing that one. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, Abdullah Samir is going to be playing an ISIS jihadi. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's part of the yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's going to be pay, he's going to be playing the an ISIS jihadi who who is uh, who's he, he runs re, he's in charge of religious content uh, for the trust and safety team. Uh, we're going to have a a radical feminist. Uh, AP is going to play a Marxist. He's in charge of political content for the trust and safety team. Uh, John's going to be the new guy on the team, but he's a Christian, and they're not going to find out he's a Christian until after they've hired him. <laughs> 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 now, so uh, only only a couple parts left over. Oh, there's some good jokes in there because it can be like, say he was a diversity hire, but then when he talks about being a Christian, <laughs> yeah, they're like, like they're, not that kind of diversity. And you read my you read my mind already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> looking at the comments, <laughs> Brad from Carolina said, if you ever need someone to play David Duke, I'm available. <laughs> wow. Um, and so, vocab, we basically had two additional parts. One is the, there's going to be a cameraman, but you don't see the cameraman. But then there's the guy who's interviewing uh, everyone, who's kind of who's kind of running the show. Because the idea is that Congress has ordered... Uh, the trust and safety team to kind of open its doors to see how they're doing things, and there's a they send in a they send in a, a film crew to uh, to interview everyone. So there's going to be the guy who's interviewing everyone, but um, he's going to end up in increasingly dangerous situations because he's messing with the wrong people who are trying to take over the world in various ways. Mm. Um, but then there's I've been thinking there could be there could also be on the team uh, like a lazy dude who's just there to earn a paycheck and like so he just meets his quota of daily bands and stuff like that because you're looking at different people who could do the job that the trust and safety team is doing and 
Some idiot who's just banning content could be responsible for a lot of the stuff we see. Um, a, an ISIS jihadi could be a, responsible for a lot of the stuff we see. Uh, a mm. Marxist could be responsible for a lot of the stuff we see. A uh, psychopath could do it. So it's basically all the different people who could give us the results that we're seeing. Because a bunch mm-hmm. of competent people with respect for people's ability to speak and communicate and so on would not be doing what we're seeing come out of come out of YouTube here. Yeah. A child. We could have a child on there. <laughs> yeah. We could have... <laughs> <laughs> my baby? You know, my baby's just sitting there. <laughs> no, I, just, I just got an idea. We could have a monkey. <laughs> That's what I was saying. A monkey, with, a monkey with a button, and, a, and the monkey's just trying to slam this ban button. <laughs> or, or no, no, no. Hey, the monkey could be in charge of appeals, right? Like when you appeal something and, and, oh, yeah. uh, and then it immediately yeah. gets rejected. So it's a light beep, a light, a light turns on that says there's an appeal and the, the monkey just slams the button to reject it. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Man. So yeah. wait, uh, the lazy guy or? You, you, or could, you, the... you, could, be, you could be the worker <laughs> who's, who's a lazy loser who just, who's just there to, uh, to meet his daily ah, quota. Problem is that part would be perfect for Sam, though. You said yeah. the worker who's a lazy loser, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, just because Wait, he Sam just because Sam he never had a job though, so never mind. Just mind. because he is a lazy loser doesn't mean he'd be good at playing one. You know what I mean? Sam, just be yourself. You know, just yo. Okay, I got what's, what's the other part though? Is that it? That's the one part, huh? You said there was a couple options. I thought. Yeah. Then there's going to be well. The, the, no, th- those are the two options. So the, you're you're the interviewer, right? You're the you're the guy who's in charge uh-huh. of charge of getting all this info for for Congress, um, and then, or you could be a person on the team. And so, I'll take whichever one. It depends who the other person you get is. Whichever one they'd be better at. Hey, Elizabeth here said, uh, "Whoops, got to cover it up here." Have Project Veritas interview them at Trust and Safety. <laughs> 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 that'd be funny oh and, and that that's that's the cool thing we can have some actual people come on there at various times and uh w- one of the things that i think would be funny is if uh we get kind of meta like after the first several episodes like on the sh- on the show we start talking about these youtubers who made a show about us and you know we're we're figuring out how we're gonna how we're gonna ban these losers and stuff like that uh, when one of us gets something actually banned, we can have a show about how that actually got banned and what what the reasoning process was. You know, was that a monkey thing or something like that? So anyway, all kinds of options. But we're gonna make that would be guys. legit though yeah. to have them um, have the monkey on the team and like he's considered like a viable member on like equal status. You know, we're gonna like, need we're gonna need someone out your way who's got a monkey though. Like he like. He, for example, he identifies as human. Like someone's like, what's the monkey on the team? He identifies as human. Yeah, you bigot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah and like, so there's all this like stuff about being bigoted towards a monkey because he identifies as a human. And they keep calling him he, and you're assuming his gender and stuff. That'd be hilarious. And, then and he's like, and he's like <laughs> yeah, they're mad when they, you assume the monkey's gender. And he has like this, like, he's not wearing a diaper, so you can see everything. And they're like, you assuming his gender? And you're like, well, I mean, they're like, you, you freaking bigot. <laughs> he's undeclared like, still at this moment. We're letting him de- decide. <laughs> and uh, then the monkey, since he's uh, identifies as human, at some point could go up. Uh, a species of assi- reassignment surgery <laughs> and he comes to work the next day with like the groucho marx glasses on or something it's like, oh, you, you, you're man. gonna have to, you're gonna have to do a little research man find uh find uh find the monkey fi- figure out the monkey situation in your area i'm sure i'm sure mm-hmm. there i'm sure there are people well, who have trained monkeys for for various things but um yeah sam's moved to phoenix so we got it <laughs> <laughs> we'll have Sam Shamoon playing the monkey. <laughs> Sam Baboon. <laughs> oh man. Yo, YouTube banned me on my video. I mean they, they demonetized me on my video talking about YouTube, but there was no rationale there. They so they didn't just like, you know, do it so I can get an approval. They just went in there and just said flat out, it was like, a, this has been manual reviewed, not suitable for advertisers, because it was the video on YouTube. There's nothing in there freaking um, rules or anything that says I can't make a video about YouTube. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy though? Wait, wait, I've wait. Never had that wait, what'd you say? 
So like there was the, no appeal process or uh, nothing. So yeah. the video I did about YouTube. You made I a video about it. YouTube. Yeah. And they demonetized yeah. it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. dude, 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 dude. Yeah, yeah. I want that info because I actually got them to declare themselves. I, I plot this stuff ahead of time, right? I got them to declare themselves a protected group <laughs> that, that cannot be criticized, right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I don't even mo I don't monetize most of my videos. If I if I do monetize something, it's it's I'm like I'm like gathering information somehow. But uh, yeah. so I would go like you know twenty videos in a row without even monetizing it. Yeah. But you know when you monetize something, now you get that list of things that you have to check and say it it's there's. Uh, it doesn't contain hateful content against a protected group and so on. And, and so anyway, so, so the, the videos where I was blasting away at YouTube, I made sure I didn't talk about anyone else. I didn't mention anything else. I'm just blasting the trust and safety team. There's nothing, there's no one else that I spoke about at all. And so how are you guys possibly going to demonetize this? I have met every criteria here. Yeah. And... They demonetized it based on hateful content offensive towards a protected group. But wait a minute. You guys are the only group I talked about. So you guys are actually, you guys think that you're a protected group now? But I mean, think about this, right? This is the trust and safety team who's doing yeah. all this insane stuff, banning all these people and stuff. And now they've declared themselves <laughs> a protected group that can't be criticized. This would, this would be like the, the government saying, you can't criticize us anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it, yeah. it, would be, it would be insane yeah and the thing is i didn't they didn't give me um i mean i got no explanation i got no warnings i got no appeal opportunity i got nothing it was all just like all of a sudden they're just like um i looked at it and it was like yeah manual review confirmed it's not suitable for monetization i was like are you kidding me it's messed up but yeah ever since then i've been getting a lot of videos more to monetize so yeah see, what it is. see that affects you a little more because i've been used yeah. I, I, I've been used to not having stuff monetized for a while, but I yeah. remember that. I remember that a couple of years ago because if you, you know, if you go back five years, I can monetize pretty much anything except a terrorist attack. Yeah. Other yeah. than that, I mean, if I'm blasting away at Muhammad, blasting away at the Quran, blasting away at, at jihad in doctrine, but not an actual attack, um, yeah. an actual terrorist attack that I was commenting on, that would that would get demonetized. Whereas now anything i'm saying that's critical of islam is is getting is getting demonetized but you can blast away at christianity and you're good dude just so you know oh yeah oh yeah yeah that's it half my income comes from uh from the, my youtube so that sucks when that happens but it's all good vocab has champagne for the kids it looks like for the children it's real champagne <laughs> so what are we at for how many minutes Oh, five minutes. Cool, cool. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm uh, so four tired, four man. minutes, dude. Matter of fact, we're down to 359. Oh, sweet. Here's my bottle opener. Notice the shape? Yeah, it, yeah, we get it. It's, super, like it's, it's super cool. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Oh! Hold on. Come on, bust it. I knew vocab had a mullet. A mullet? <laughs> yes, we have a mullet. I see it. My hair is long. It's a mullet. Oh, that's a cool bottle opener, though. Oh, there you go. What is that, though, really? Is that Star Wars or something? Of course yeah, it is, man. Where you been? <laughs> I've never seen. I've never seen Star Wars movie. Can't I was. I was just watching The Mandalorian a little bit ago. It was very nerdy of you. Mandalorian is super cool. So long, guys. Can you guys see this? Yeah. You know what this is, right? Champagne. No, it's Champagne glass with the Martinelli's. You know what Martinelli's <laughs> is, right? Nope. Wait, you don't know what Martinelli's is? Nah, man. Sparkling cider. Nah. That's fantastic. Here, sit, sit down. Please don't do it. Okay. All right, get organized because you only got uh, two minutes and 30 seconds left, slow cab. How much time? Two minutes and 30 seconds till New Year, son. It's a new year. It's 2021. We're, start, we're trying to set this off right. So the counter... Okay, okay, yeah, okay. That's why I see it now. Okay, we're all geared up. <laughs> hey, 
John, do you do you know Benjamin Handelman? Because he just talking yeah. all he huh? Yeah, he's my boy. Oh, okay. He's one of my supporters. So yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Because yeah, yeah, he's been talking trash about you the whole time. <laughs> he says John McRae loves Calvinism. <laughs> Who in the world loves Calvinism? Am I yeah. am I right, yeah. Vocab? I think I am. Yeah, am I right? <laughs> vocab. I want to talk some soteriology with you sometime soon, man. Been wanting to read my book. <laughs> read my book. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, by the way, guys, uh, several of you have already mentioned this, but uh, no, I'm, we've got some new people on here uh, in this last minute and 30 seconds here. How many of you uh, are, are living somewhere where it's already 2021? Yeah, what's 2021 like? <laughs> Better than last year? Huh? Yeah, Hope does so. it, I mean, did, did coronavirus go away where you're at? Close. One of you guys came over the shoulder hit. Ha, has the Islamic apologetics meltdown stopped where you're at? <laughs> guys, we only got a minute and a half. Get this away from me. I get to celebrate New Year's three times. All right. I don't see a counter, so yeah, I can't see it. We're under, a, we're under a minute, son. All right. In fact, I hear fireworks outside. People have already started them. Morons. Yeah, 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 50 yeah, seconds early. <laughs> no, but it's like it's on YouTube. It says it. They can't wait to get out of this year. Oh yeah, but that's behind because we're yeah, that's ahead. behind. There's like a there's like a thirty second delay. So, so I'm looking I'm looking at the the counter as it's live now. Thirty seconds. How do I do that? Thirty seconds. What? No, you don't. You, you can't. You're behind. The, the only thing yeah. you could do is go on the same site that I'm on right now and look at that instead of looking at the live stream. Let's do counter, but you got to hurry up, son. You better. We're, we're you don't up. have time. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Why did it jump? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah! TikTok time to rock a new year. Yeah, buddy. Happy New Year's, everyone. Yes. Happy New Year's, everyone. We will, uh, this year is going to be the year. This year is going to be better. Do I have to drink all of it? Yes. Right. Worst day of my life. (laughs) What did he say? Hey, wait, now now it's counting up. No, wow, now, now now the countdown is counting up. Like how how far we are into the new year, uh, so we're nice. we're forty three seconds into the new year. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we got happy new year from two messianic Jews. Happy new year from GK. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll come meet you out. We're bringing it up in a little bit, okay? Happy new year from Renee. No. Yeah, buddy. New year. Happy new year from Rachel. <laughs> ah. yeah we- so this year vocab this year you have any plans for your channel you didn't talk about that no he's skipping us <laughs> he's giving up youtube to focus on his books oh i see vo- <laughs> vo- vocab's like hey let me take the latest awesomest way of sharing information and go back to the way that they were using 15 you know 1500 years ago <laughs> and jesus is there <laughs> <laughs> well God decided to uh, give us a book, not a video. <laughs> <laughs> did you just in, like did you just invent that? <laughs> no, but I mean, oh yeah, just now, yeah, I did. You just invented that? That's a funny saying. Yeah, it's like this. It's like this. Um, I consider myself an apologist first, a YouTuber, second, or something like that down the road, and so uh, I can uh, temporarily lay it down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drop probably just a video a week, maybe go live once a month. So I'm not off YouTube. I'm a, I'm just not as intense in the schedule. And then um, uh, I'm like almost off social media right now. So I've deleted most apps on my phone and I don't check them like I used to because I used to post pretty regularly. And so but but things aren't inactive because I got an amazing team 
And so the street apologists, people are constantly dropping stuff still. They're cool people. So it's still all there. You just got to follow street apologists media instead of vocab media. Mm -hmm. But basically, for the next three months, you won't see anything related to Hebrewism or Islam. You'll see a couple uh, different things once a, once a week, but some dope stuff. I got, I got Bri from the shot. I got editors. You know, they're still working on stuff. But it's just going to be – basically have more time to absorb it instead of, like, a, you know, so many. Uh, but, I mean, part of the reason is, too, and I guess I could tell some people – I mean, you know, I got one of those strikes on the channel, mm -hmm. so I'm just chilling out for that three month period. You are correct. I'm kind of oh. so it it all relates. It's me doing the book, but also wait until the strike evaporates. That yep. COVID, yeah, it all goes hand in hand. No, um, that's cool, man. In the meantime, me and Wood is gonna be we're gonna be leaving you in the dust, son. So yeah, we're gonna have to catch you up, man. When you get back on the ball, don't worry. We'll, we'll give we'll give you the crash course. But it'd, mm -hmm. it'd, it'd be cool once your once your once your books are out because our channels would be so crazy large that all we have to do is mention your name and you get a million million subscribers overnight. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm down with you guys, man. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, okay you're, to you're, ride you're, the coattails. You're, you're on the A team, son. You're on the A. You join the A team, man. You're Murdoch on the A team. <laughs> I don't I don't mind being number three or four, or whatever. I'm just down. I'm just I just have fun. Want to be on the team. So what are you guys doing, though? Because I do need you to mention my name because I do need Patreon supporters because some people have left. They left me right when I got COVID, man. They left me high and dry. Yeah, man. Good. That's not love, bro. <laughs> now, what, are you, what are you guys doing, though? Or can you say? You can go back oh, and watch this live stream. We talked about the dope oh. stuff. But basically, um, getting everything running on other platforms. And I'm actually possibly expanding to some other s sites like Roku and all that stuff. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but but some of those streaming platforms. I've uh, got a website coming out, uh, a uh, having a, um, <clears throat> what's that platform called where you chat? Ch Snapchat? No, where you, I mean, you type stuff. Video gamers Twitter. use it. No, video gamers use Discord, it, man. Discord, 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 yeah. Discord? Having an yeah. epic Discord server uh, yeah. put together. Man, you're you're 40 years late, man. You better get on the game, son. No. <laughs> so, uh, so that kind of stuff, and then me and John, man, we're about to set it off, man. We're 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 me and John are making new channels, new YouTube channels, but, but, we're gonna make videos about everything we're doing for people who want to start YouTube channels in 2021. Right. So, I mean, we'll start. Up. Here's how you start a YouTube channel. Here's how you come up with the name for your channel. Here's how you make a banner for your channel. Here's how you do this. The stuff that we're doing for our new channels, we're just going to make videos about doing it. And then everyone can kind of come along for the ride and have awesome channels along the way. Which would be a good time for vocab to start a new channel. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. really, because I think of vocab, you should try to start a new channel, man. I got a street apologist that has a thousand subs on it or something. Oh, good. Like that. But I never, good. I never really put anything on it. It's just, it's just there. Yeah. No, vocab's, cool. vocab's writing this year. He's writing this year. Not all year. Well, all, all year, year long. I'll be writing, but I mean, but if I'll you be... the the more you write, the quicker you be done. Yeah, that's true. You should get that out the way. Yeah. I mean, David, you should write. You know, I don't no, remember. No, no, no. A no that, 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 that's what. That's why. That's why I'm just. That's why I'm just joking with that. I, I've got to do the same thing at some point. At some point, I got to say, guys, I'm gonna. I'm gonna post one video a week until I, you know, finish one of the books that I've started and have never finished. That's some good confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. You probably don't remember. This is before we really like, were teamed up or anything. And we just could kind of see each other, you know, here or there, right? Mm -hmm. I hit you up on email when you were really just running your blog. Yeah. I, like that was your that was your kind of primary thing, is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. And I said, "Hey, man, uh, it was along the lines of I want to write a book with you." <laughs> and uh, I said, "Can I like take all your stuff from your blog, and and then rework it to turn it into kind of a book that would be based on that content?" And you're like, oh, you could take whatever you want from there. And I was like, oh, this guy's cool, man. Because <laughs> I didn't even really know you. And you're like, yeah, you can use whatever. Yeah, that's how I and roll. I still, I still want to do that idea. I think that would be a really cool idea. Look, look, yo, 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 slow cap. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you straight what? up. What? If you ever want to do something, matter of fact, if you want to do something, this would be perfect for you. Yeah. Take Sam Shamoon's content from answering Islam on, like, the deity of Christ and stuff like that, responding to Muslim objections to the deity of Christ. Take his articles and rework them into a chaptered book. Mm. 
and th- and then just and then just mm-hmm. make it you know this book on the DD of Christ or something like that with, with just take Sam Shimon. Yeah, yeah. You don't even give him any credit. Just say, man, the, this is these are the insights I've gleaned after years <laughs> of defending the deity of Christ. <laughs> I feel like if something went wrong or if Sam got mad at me, he would nah. like send an Assyrian to my house and like choke me in my sleep though because. <laughs> He knows where I live, and he has all these uh, like Assyrian boxers and weightlifters he hangs out with. <laughs> those guys ain't gonna bust. Those guys ain't gonna bust the grape. You tell him you I know. Feel like you tell him if, you know D Wood. They won't mess with you. If you and I fell out and something went wrong, and say we had like kind of essentially did this book thing together, you would just not like pick up my, you know, calls or something. Yeah, I'd you ignore know? you forever. But actually, <laughs> that's not that much difference than now. So I, yeah. that, I know it's late. <laughs> <laughs> Vocab says, listen to your master, that almighty fiat garbage U.S. dollar LOL. Why did someone pay Super Chat to say that? Someone did. <laughs> what is that? Do you see that? Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Vocab says, listen to your master, that almighty fiat garbage U.S. dollar lol. <laughs> what know. does that even mean? Why am I confused? I don't understand that. I don't know either. I mean, amateur. I thought that's a diss or a compliment. <laughs> Um, all, all right, guys. Well, I think it's time to jump up off here. Just wanted to hang out with everyone till New Year's. But other than that, people got to start going to sleep here because it's past midnight. Yeah. Are you really going to go to sleep? No, I'll be up I'm for I'll be sleep. I'll be up for another two hours. But I'm in my yeah. bedroom, and other people need to go to sleep. It's not two hours. I mean, it's not New Year's for two hours where I'm at, and I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. I'm tired. I've had a long day, man. So, see. I knew, I, I knew you weren't going to sleep, David, because when I actually go over to your house, I see how you basically do most of your YouTube work. Yeah. And yeah. unless you're in front of the camera, the way you do it is in your boxers on your bed. That is correct, <laughs> sir. That is at correct. 2 a.m. He does that when we're, here, we're, in, we're all together at a hotel, too. Yeah. <laughs> He sits there on his stomach typing away. Yeah. Well, I'm normally I'm no, I normally feel hotter than other people, so I could either you all could wear everyone else could wear jackets, or I could just sit around in boxers. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. yeah, that is true. All but, right. Uh, yep. All right. Well, guys, shout out to right, everybody. Us too much. If you're watching this, no, dude, 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 lo, 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 long run coming out with a couple of uh, long run co- coming out with a couple of dope books that'll help you on that'll help you on YouTube, man. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what I. That's what yeah. I, I kind of feel. Like, I kind of feel like the rapper that's destined to do underground <laughs> hip hop, though. Like, Yo, Bizman has been on a roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said he said John's not young anymore; needs his rest. Dude, that is true. No, I, I I've been telling people that, man. Uh, like for up until like four or five years ago i could i could no problem staying up sleepless nights i could just keep working for 48 at 50 hours straight no problem never needed breaks never took vacation uh yeah, but you were on meth at that time no i mean <laughs> it, it would be scary how much i would get done if i if i if i was on meth or something like that but but recently <laughs> i'm talking like over the last year it's been like I can't, I can't make a video man i need to go to sleep <laughs> i can't do it man so it's it's a weird feeling for me because I've never I've never been like that. It's always I've always been like I gotta get something done. I gotta get something done. I gotta get something done. And if I even take a break or, or just chill for a little bit, I feel like ah, well, ah, I gotta get something done. And now I'm like, man, I need a break, dude. I need to I need to I need to, I need to sit down and chill. Or I need to take a day off or a couple of days off or go do something. Man, that's that COVID, bro. I mean, that's that. I mean, the lockdowns, man. You gotta start exercising. Yeah, I think bro. that's just getting old, man. I think I'm getting old. It's catching up with me. Can't do it anymore. Can't do it oh, anymore. Man. Sleepless, sleepless nights. I mean, I used to go sleepless nights. Now, if I just, you know, if I get like four and a half hours sleep or something like that, I feel horrible the next day. I feel, oh, I feel yeah, horrible, I've been terrible. There. I've been there, and I'm younger than you. I've been there for a while yeah. now, man. No, not not yeah. me. If if I had. If I had a full night's sleep the night before, then I would have no problem, uh, you know, staying up a sleepless night. Or if I got three hours, I'd be totally fine. I could do three hours like a couple nights in a row and, and still be still yeah. be just cranking stuff out. And people couldn't even tell. People couldn't even tell that I was tired. Now, yeah. man, man, <laughs> I start, oh, I can't do it. Oh. Down for a day, man. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm five hours. I can do five minimum for like one day. I used to be able to do it. I used to be able to do about four hours, three days in a row before it hit me. Now, man. I just need my sleep, man. I try to get eight hours. If not, I just like, man, I need to get my rest. Yeah, it's bad. 
Old yep. man. Old man status. I do feel like we've seen John go from a young buck to kind of like. <laughs> yeah, you were like a little kid, man. And yeah. now you're like an old geezer. Yeah, man. Kind well, of like a pre. I, because like, in, in the time I've known you, guy. it's like two going on three kids. I think that, that might be what happened. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, vocab. Watch John not even understand this. Hey, hey John, you went from you went from uh, you went from Arnold on different strokes to Sanford and Son, man. <laughs> you won't even understand anything I just no, I said. Because yeah, that's what old old people jokes, dad jokes, right there. <laughs> For the seventies, I, I missed the seventies, man. I wasn't around. You went from Arnold to uh, to Fred Sanford, dude. <laughs> All right, everyone. I do know Fred Sanford, though. So oh, okay, that's good. Back. And I know Arnold. Yeah, but I don't know Arnold in different strokes. So, anyways. Hey, do you want to come say hi? Before we go, say, you can say bye to everyone. Come here. The reason for John's you can rapid say, aging. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you can say bye. Shout out to the school. Say hi. Shout out to Carm and Benjamin. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Hey, Dan. What's your name? Hey, Dan. Yeah. How old are you? Why well, you got him shackled there, Joe? <laughs> well, he broke the leash that we had him. We had him tied to the fence. It's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Got it. And he took these ornaments off this. <laughs> looks like. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways. Yeah, okay. Did you say Happy New Year's? Happy New Year's. Happy New Year to you, too. You remember David? David. Yeah, yeah, David. And that's vocab. Vocab. Yeah. Hi. Nice. Is that a, is that a Paul? Vocab. Paw Patrol shirt? You said, is that a Paw Patrol shirt? Yeah, Paw Patrol. Who's your favorite? Who do you like? No, you need to get rid of that. That's got cops in it. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, that's right. Can't be celebrating cops. Chase. (laughs) All right, everyone. We're going to sign off now. Uh, I do want to make one correction real quick because we've got to start off the new year correctly. Um, All to Jesus Forever says, as 2020 ends... Remember, Allah prays to Muhammad. Wrong. We got to get it right. Allah prays for Muhammad, not to Muhammad. Happy New Year, everybody. What? Happy New Year's. Are you going to keep interrupting me and, and, and saying something? Go ahead, Vogue. Go ahead. Did you see my shirt? <laughs> <What's wrong? laughs> we see it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And a happy new year! Happy new year, everyone! (laughs) Bye, everyone!